Stone crab fishermen in Anna Maria are having their traps cut, moved, and even stolen. And they say another local fishing group is to blame. ABC 7's Adam Cellini joins us now with more on the story. Adam? Yes, Scott. Tensions are high between stone crab fishermen and residents who are shark fishing along the same beaches. After a recent assault charge, the city is stepping in before emotions boil over. My message is simple. Leave my traps, leave my property alone. Anthony Manali has trapped stone crabs along Anna Maria's beaches for nearly 50 years. The crustacean makes up more than half his seafood market's annual revenue. This year, he'll finish 20 traps lighter, with dozens more being pulled ashore without his knowledge. The sheriff's office has been bringing them back to me. I appreciate that. Uh, you lose a trap, you lose $30. Uh, and the revenue that that trap is going to bring you in. The culprit? Manali and others believe it's amateur fishermen pulling in sharks from offshore. Manali says to catch bigger fish, people are taking bait out in kayaks past his traps to deeper waters. As sharks are pulled into shore, they can get tangled in the trap lines, leaving crates mangled, moved, and sometimes stolen, according to Manali. We're getting to the point where we're, we're getting a little upset here, and that, that's not what we want. The fishermen approach city commissioner in December, who nearly responded with an ordinance to prohibit the use of small crafts to bait waters. Instead, the city will hold a meeting Thursday mediated by a Florida Fish and Wildlife representative. We're just going to discuss it because we'd only heard the one side of the story. If you've got a dog in the fight, come and let us know what's going on. Earlier this month, Anthony's wife Joanne was charged with battery in a confrontation with three shark fishermen. The city is hopeful both parties can find common ground before more trouble ensues. We want everybody to be able to share that beach, but they have to understand once in a while uh, that beach is very important to us. We can't give it up 100% of the time. Commissioner Doug Copeland says multiple shark fishermen and crab trappers have indicated they will attend the January 14th meeting, which begins at 6 p.m. in Anna Maria City Hall.